Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com and we are going to try to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the first beta of Windows Phone Mango on this device and the second beta of Windows Phone Mango over here. Let's check it out. First off, we're going to try to turn them on at the same time. The Dell is generally a little bit slower booting up anyway, so I wouldn't compare this for uh, speed's sake. But we can see a little difference in what comes up. There's a square logo. And there's your circular logo. But this totally beat the old beta. So there's your speed increase. This one seems to be a little bit faster with the scrolling. Alright, let's take a look at some of the other things. People. A slightly different animation there. Let's try that again. And hitting the start button we get some animation back here, but it's still the same speed. So that's pretty cool. Me tile. We now have Twitter on this one. So if I post a message, I can choose any of these. And it will now work. Whereas over here, it just wouldn't work because it didn't have the uh, Twitter support set up over there. And you get Twitter notifications over here. Let's see if I can reply to one. So there's a mention. And I can send that. Um, I can also tap and hold this one, copy it, and paste it right there. So that's a way to uh, do your old style retweeting. Zoom in a little bit on that. So that's pretty cool. You also have the new retweet button here. That's the just automatic retweet without ed any editing. that's possible and in your people hub we are going to find all sorts of Twitter updates so you can see those and we can filter it you can see just Twitter and there you are one issue is if I go to, let's see, if I go to contacts. So I'm going to filter my contact list to just show LinkedIn and Twitter people. Well, look what happens. There's nobody there. So at least in this uh, build at this time, it does not sync Twitter people or LinkedIn contacts to your contacts uh, listing. And that is a problem because, say, I want to go to a group. None of these people are going to have their Twitter updates show up here because they don't have, a, there's no way to link them to their Twitter accounts or LinkedIn accounts. So none of that is going to appear in groups. Or if you go to a specific person and you go to their specific what's new feed, none of their Twitter updates are going to show up there either. So that's unfortunate. We also have a new voicemail feature. Oh, proximity. <laughs> we get new buttons when you tap the voicemail to play it, as opposed to just the play button over here. We don't have voicemail support on this account anymore. 
Okay, I said dismiss. But there's new buttons uh, that make it easier to call back this person or go directly to their contact card. Maps, if I do directions. Unfortunately, you're still going to have to do the tapping each time in order to uh, get the voice prompts. And it's having issues because we're indoors. So you will take my word for that. And the icon here has been changed a little bit. We also see the icon has changed in the Music Hub. Previously it was a play button that would play music. You can see the little note there says play music. Now it's a musical notes button that also does the same thing but is uh, much harder to understand what that is actually going to do until you flip up to read it. So we got rid of the good play button that was up here before and now we have a little play button and now we have something that is completely un understandable. <laughs> Oh, one thing I was hoping for was a uh, share update. So if I go to share music, there is no Twitter or Facebook option. So I was hoping for that, but we don't have that. There is, however, Find a picture. If we share a picture over here, email messaging, Facebook, SkyDrive, Twitter, and the same is over here. But now Twitter works. So there you go, you can share photos on Twitter. That's a nice new feature. One more thing. I have a uh, mp3 file here. I click it over there too. We're now streaming that music file. You can see it's downloading it right there. There's the progress bar. So that's pretty cool. You can have some music on your SharePoint uh, storage or your SkyDrive and you can just stream it whenever you want. Here's another issue I want to check out. Can't edit Word 97 to 2003 documents. On uh, the original Windows Phone 7, you could edit these, but that feature has been removed and it's still not working. So that's unfortunate. One more thing let's uh, find my test file. We still do not have ink support. 
attachments there. Oh, it's still sinking. Handwriting doesn't work. Videos do work. Audio recordings do work. Equations don't work. Shape drawings don't work. So no new updates in the OneNote support. Bean hasn't changed much. We still have all the cool features there. And that's about it for what has changed in the new beta. It's a lot faster, smoother, and got some slightly different animations, so uh, pretty cool. That's it for now.